Yo, welcome to part one of my first playthrough of Mafia 3's third and final expansion pack, Signs of the Times. So this is a little closure, so let's go and speak to Father James. I'm just around the corner. I was just driving around in some car I found. Obviously it's nowhere near better than all the cool cars I've got. But I like to have a bit of variety. At the time, I, I understood the pain Lincoln was in. Come home from war expecting peace. But in Lincoln's case, all he found was pain. Heartbreak. Ain't no way that doesn't drive you down into the muck and mire. Anyways, I was, uh... I was thinking... Hoping really that uh, if I could help him find a little closure, maybe we could shift his focus away from the Marcanos. See, he was in a coma when we laid Sammy and Ellis to rest, so he ain't never had a chance to say his goodbyes. Thought maybe if he did, he might see that he had a chance at a normal life. There ever was a soul more wrong than I. I do not know him. All right, time to drive to old Sammy's. We're with the priests. I think us going to Sammy's like this is going to do you a lot of good, Lincoln. I'll be honest with you, Father. I hardly see the point in it. It's a hard thing to let go to say goodbye. Saying goodbye won't give me what I want, Father. Maybe what you want isn't what you need, son. Y'all, Lily called yesterday, checking up on you again. I think she's setting her mind on doing something with Samus. Hmm. Can't hardly see what. The shape it's in and all. Well, she's always been a woman of determination. Don't know if you recall, but after Pearl passed, Sammy went to a dark place, buried the loss deep down. Started running girls out of the back of the bar at all hours of the night. Finally, Lily had had enough. She marched in with the fire of God inside of her, kicked all those girls out, customers, Sammy's crew. And boy, if she didn't lay into her brother like I've never seen. Told him he was doing wrong by Perla, but more importantly, he was doing wrong by you boys, sending a message that their mother didn't matter. From that point on, there was no more prostitution in that place. Huh. All I remember from that time is Aunt Lily swooping in and taking us to her place for a few nights, getting ice cream and such. She protected you boys. Family like that's a gift from God, son. Walk on out front. Couple of motors here. Free. Hey, what the hell? Help me! Oh god, they come in! Who is? Them. What the fuck? Get back here, Anna. Stay with her. Let's go. Come on. I've got something for these guys. She's not good. Bring What do you like that? Fucking LMG boy. You weren't expecting that shit. Tell me your name, sweetheart. Anna. Gonna be okay. To go in the back. 
Lincoln, this here's Anna. And those men? Dealt with. But if more come, I want y'all out of here. One of my parishioners, she's out of town, has an apartment in Tickfall. It's safe. You... You don't know that. I'll take her there. Meet me when you're ready. All right. Gonna take a look around inside first. <laughs> means I must have been downstairs touching my stuff. The fuck saw these candles? Who the fuck were those people? Should use my recon camera here. So we carvings and shit. Someone's been shot. I wonder if there's anyone down here with my stuff. Motherfuckers. Surprised I didn't rob my TV. All the camera if it's just sitting there. Investigation mode, awesome. Reminded me of like LA Noir. Everybody tells a story. Was he bound? Ligature marks. Must have had him tied up. This is cool. Shot him as he was running away. Drag him in here. When he tries to escape, they shoot him dead. But why were they in here at all? Covered in blood. That's what that girl Anna was saying. So where's that bit on it? That flash bit. This thing looks there you go. realistic. These markings. Strangest thing. Sense or something. Mm. 
Oh. Maybe for a ceremony of some kind. Like he took a knife to the gut. No signs of being restrained. On the ID, motherfucker. Never seen a card like this. Flowers hand painted. Some kind of tattoo. Might mean something. Looks like you messed with the wrong girl. All right, that's all there is. Time to go. stress reaction but I think the term that I always preferred was uh, shell shock we all heard it said before that uh, war is hell ain't no surprise there the pain the guilt the anger and the rage for what you were forced to do in a wartime situation. It sticks to your soul. So I, uh, I knew right then and there that whatever that girl was going through was some kind of war. Cause there was hell burning in her eyes. I've been talking to Anna about those men over at Sammy's. They didn't drag her over there. She went with them, willingly. That don't make any sense. This girl was running for her life. And on the inside of Sammy's, there were three words written on the wall. Covered in blood. Never seen anything like it. Sammy ever tell you boys stories about the Asanglante? Sure. Thought he was just trying to scare us. Asanglante is French for covered in blood. Now, they can be traced back to the original settlers who came here looking for a new life, but instead found only death. It all turned around when they incorporated the new ceremonies into their religious practice. Like human sacrifice. That part always stuck with me. So you think Anna's one of them? All I know for certain is that girl is mixed up with a bunch of very bad people. Lincoln? I need to show you something. 
Can you shed any light on this? Look, Cher. My eyes have been on you for weeks now. I see the shit you put up with around here. It's not so bad. What about the way Phil back there can't keep his hands off your ass? Or the way the cheap bastards around here never leave you a tip? That not so bad? This place ain't ever gonna deliver the happiness you deserve. But we can. Why are you saying such sweet things to me? Maybe you shouldn't be asking why I'm saying these things to you. But why hasn't someone said them to you sooner? Be part of us and a baby. Bonnie, she made me feel welcome like I belong. Is that why you went to Sammy? Well, they didn't give me a choice. They said it was the only way that I could be purified. Let me go. I won't say anything. Please. Well, I, I tried to stop them, but I... I, I couldn't. I, 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 I just had to get out of there, and, and he... The... 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 the, the cry. And the tears and, 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 and the blood, he was choking the, the, the savages. Look at me, Anna. People like this have a process for indoctrinating folks. Where else did Bonnie take you? A nightclub. Uh... Nuit Blanche, that's where they bring people into the family. Yeah, I know it. A hippie club downtown. And that playing card? That's the only way they'll let you inside. Got you. I, I could... Hey, you did good here, Anna. Hmm? You did good. I did good. Uh, careful of the fallen sky. The mind is in the flesh. Consumes. The sky falls, the mind is in the sense the flesh consumes. This girl needs help. Doctors and nurses looking after her. You really think that's what'll happen? Girl like her with nothing to her name? I mean, they'll toss her in a padded cell and just forget about her. We both know how much the city cares for the poor and the infirmed. So we're all she's got. I'll get her some nourishment. You do what you got to do, son. Thanks, father. So, it's the end of the first mission of uh, Mafia 3's last expansion, The Signs of the Times. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed that. If not, go fuck yourself. Otherwise, see you in the next part.